Hello again, this is Justinas, and in this video we will be looking further into the functionality of a hydrostatics calculator for SOLIDWORKS developed by Floatsoft. If you just got here, check the link below the video to watch the first part of this tutorial. As we have familiarized ourselves with the user interface, we will now try out the various calculation modes that hydrostatics calculator has. First and most simple of the modes is the Solve with Known Draft mode. The name is self-explanatory. You should use it when you want to check the hull's hydrostatics at a specific draft height. At the very minimum, you should input the draft value into an appropriate field. This value cannot be negative, zero or above the ship's height, which you can check on the left side of the window. You can also input heel or trim angles should you wish to examine the hull's hydrostatics at a specific orientation. If you want to know the lateral or longitudinal riding moments, you should also enter the coordinates of the center of gravity on the hull. The coordinate system requires a little explanation. Back in the first tutorial, I explained how the hydrostatics calculator positioning feature moves the hull in respect of SOLIDWORKS top front and right planes. This means that the SOLIDWORKS origin, located at X0, Y0 and Z0, is the both relative reference point for setting the location of the center of mass as well as measuring the location of the center of buoyancy. In this example, I have a 12 meter hull, so let's set that center of gravity at the midships, on the center line, and say half a meter above the baseline. I am now disabling the display of the original hull model since it won't be needed anymore. Now we are ready to run the scenario. In a few seconds, Hydrostatics Calculator will display the results you selected in the settings window on the right side of the main window. We can also check how our solution looks. As you can see, our center of gravity ended up almost on top of the center of buoyancy. Their slight mismatch would have created a longitudinal writing moment, also known as trimming moment. Let's see by how much. In the settings window, I am selecting the display of a longitudinal writing moment. And now, back at the main window, I am going to run this calculation again. As you can see, the results panel now shows the longitudinal writing moment. Now let's change the heel angle to, say, 20 degrees. As you can see, our hydrostatic properties have changed radically, which is to be expected. Back at the SOLIDWORKS model view, we can see how that hull looks in this orientation and submersion. Next, we are going to try the second mode, which is Solve with Known Displacement. This is probably the most used mode, which allows you to find a solution based on a certain displacement figure. As you can see, the draft value has been grayed out, while the displacement field has been activated. The usage is very similar. I am going to write a displacement value that I estimate this boat will be usually loaded at, and click Run to see how it looks. Note that the calculation is taking longer, that is because the hydrostatics calculator has to take a guess of the draft value that provides the displacement we need. This concludes the two simple calculation modes. In the next video, we'll be looking into the four iterative modes which can greatly help you automate the processes of the hydrostatics calculator. Thanks for watching.